Right. Mean streets of Milwaukee. The Greek freak in the Bucks with the NBA's best record. But for the first time this oh, season, oh they lost goodness. consecutive games. I he was lay down. They'll host Indiana number three in the East in our opener. And a bit later, Russell Westbrook and the Thunder have struggled since the All-Star break, and things won't get any easier with a trip to Portland. Two games in the NBA tonight, and they're both on TNT. Bucks, the Thunder and Blazers, as we welcome you to TNT NBA Tip-Off, presented by Auto Trader, Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Charles Barkley is back this week. Thank you. Glad to be back. Mr. Chuck. Good to Thank see you, you, man. I missed you guys. Good. Everything good? Everything good with everybody here on the panel? Everything good? Yeah, everything's good. Okay. Everything good with you? Everything's great with me. <laughs> right. Like, what's wrong with you, brother? Right. I, just, I just always want to, okay. sure. right. to make sure. I'm just checking, man. Everything's fine, brother. Just checking. All right. Okay. Just want to make sure before we check it, brother. Just uh, check it. Before, sure before we set right. sail. All right, brother. Hey, y'all go find it, brother. Hey, first of all, I think it's too soon. Okay, it's too soon. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> can we can we get to the auto trader? Accelerate your game? Yes, let's accelerate our game, Arnest. Would that be acceptable to the Chuckster? Yes, it will be. Boyan Bogdanovich. Of the Indiana Pacers. Let's just tell the truth when we got here. Since Victor Oladipo's injury, averaging 22 points a game and shooting better than 50 percent. Wow. You know what, and, Kenny? If you leave this up to the jury, I think it's the you know. <laughs> okay, look, look. Now, hey, look. <laughs> the injury. Get off the chuck. Get off the chuck. <laughs> hey, you guys are hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's move on. So, <laughs> so that's the question, and this is one of the most surprising things we've seen: is the Indiana Pacers. You lose your All Star, Victor Oladipo, and you thought, okay, they're three in the East. Now they're going to drop to four, five, or six, and that has not been the case. Mm. Bogdanovich, one big reason offensively, but I, in my mind, uh, with a guy like Nate McMillan, who hung his hat on defense as a player, this is what this team also does, Indiana. Well, I hung my hat on shooting. Doesn't mean if I coach a team, this team's going to be able to shoot. Uh, I think. But you don't think you don't think he emphasizes defense? I, I think that he does, but I think overall the that there was more talent on the team that we all gave credit for. You know, guys who can step up and, and give you 22 points a game when an all-star goes down, we, we just didn't credit him. I'm saying we, as the community out here, we didn't give them the credit that this guy could possibly do that. They, they have a great system. They do have a great offensive system and a great defensive system. Number two, yeah, great, number two ranking in the, in the NBA yep. in defense. See, and, and just collectively, that unit, uh, along with Miles Turner on the defensive end, being able to protect the rim is a big part of what they do. And without him, that probably would have impacted defensively more than Oladipo. Yeah, Every they, now and then, when, when a team loses their guy, the others will step up. Uh, we had this situation last year with the Wizards. When John Wall got, was injured, yep. everybody stepped up. And the reason is everybody gets to play a little bit more. Uh, Oladipo is a great player, but he does have the ball the majority of the time. Now that he's not there, the ball is moving around. And I have to agree with Kenny. Guys do have a lot of talent, and they're able to showcase their talent. That didn't get worse. With, what, they just stayed what, the same, you, which is what, surprising. Like what, Some teams what, get what, better. Last year, Wizards got better. When, um, uh, yeah, when yeah but this is to all, me, all to me about Nate McMillan. Because, Ernie, they could have had a built-in excuse. Most teams, they lose an all-star, they go down. And this is all Nate McMillan says, we're not going to quit. We're not going to have excuses. He has done the best coaching job. No disrespect to Mike Malone in Denver and Kenny Atkinson up in Brooklyn. Yeah. Nate McMillan has done the best job of coaching in the NBA this year. I agree. They're 25-11 uh, and 11 with Victor Oladipo. They are 17-12 and 12 without him. And they remain number three a game on the loss side ahead of Philadelphia. Meantime, Milwaukee at 48 and 16, three up on Toronto in the loss column, and they win the tiebreaker wow. over the Raptors. Well, that's a wrap, Dan. In the Eastern Conference, they're 12 and one in the division. That one loss coming at Indiana, but this is a team that's uh, followed uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo and Chris Middleton. They're all stars. A guy like Malcolm Brogdon, who could join that uh, a pretty exclusive club. That 50-40-90 club, mm. shoot 50% from the floor, shoot at least 40% from three. three, and shoot 90% from the foul line, and he's right there right now. He would be the eighth player to do that. Wow. Uh, someone asked me earlier about uh, the Milwaukee Bucks, and they said, who's their second star? And I was like, depends on the night. Because the one thing that's great about them, Giannis has the advantage every night. There's, there's no one that does has an advantage over him. So now... Bledsoe, even last year, the series with Rozier, 
Yeah, he played out of his mind, but he was supposed to have the advantage. Oh, then it might move over to Brockton. Then it might move over to Middleton. Now it even might move to Lopez at times. And then off the bench, we might even move it to uh, Gasol. So all of a sudden, it's a rotating second man on the offensive end, knowing that at least Middleton is going to be 50-50 with the guy that he's playing against. But everyone else, it's a rotating. Well, and I'm going to disagree with Kenneth. To me, and I said it three weeks ago, bless those the guy. Giannis going to do his thing. Middleton's going to do his thing. The third guy who, after he went out the other night and got, after he got 70 million, had the best game of the season. Bledsoe is the guy who can be special. He's got all-star type talent. He gets uh, distracted and bored at certain times. Bored? But, well, I don't, well, I don't know, right, because I think he should be more considered. But Eric Bledsoe, to me, is the guy. I love the addition of going out, getting Paul Gasol. Uh, that's going to be a nice addition, guy coming off the bench. Because I, I have to take a look at their roster. I'm not sure if they had any guys who ever been in big-time situations in the playoffs. Uh, well, they haven't won a playoff series since, what, 2001, but, and they've been knocked out, but, in the pl- knocked out in the first but, round. But they're going to get straight deep in the playoff this year, and you need to have a veteran guy to talk to some of those young guys. But uh, Bledsoe's the guy to me. I'm not ready to jump on the bandwagon yet because we all know once the playoffs start, the game's going to slow down. But what and, do they have to show you? I mean, well, listen, you know, they play a very, very fast-paced game, but in the playoff, it slows down. So Giannis, he's still going to have to produce like he's producing, and everybody else is going to have to step up. So if they, if they get out of the first round and get to the second round, then I might Well, well Shaq, but see, that's the thing. We had this argument on the show about three weeks ago. The game is going to slow down, yes, and that's when we told you Giannis got to keep working on his jump shot. And you're saying he doesn't have to. You not, can't, not during the season, Chuck. Well, you wait. You just wait. You gonna turn it on during the playoffs? You're learn how to shoot the jumper during no. the postseason. No, yeah, no, during the summer. You work on that yeah. in the summer. Yeah, but it, not this year. That's next year. But I'm talking. Okay. About they did number one seed in the NBA playoffs. He gonna have to make some jumpers for them to get to the next round. He's gonna have to make them, but his diet has to be what got him there. No question. I agree with that. Thank you. Indiana and Milwaukee coming up. Back with more on TNT NBA Tip Off, presented by Auto Trader, in just a second. You gotta come. Make, why don't you take another week off? I don't want to take a month off. Don't be coming back questioning me either. <laughs> Presented by Auto Trader. Buy faster. Is the Twitter machine up and running? We got a few. Yeah. <laughs> oh, y'all some funny people. Y'all some funny people up there, Alex. <laughs> That wasn't from Alex. But he that finds, was, well, that, he, somebody he, been reading the paper, I see. Yeah. Uh, the Greek freak. And uh, yes. Oh my goodness, my uh, Chuck. I love it. You go. Oh, I like that. Break it down. <laughs> you like that? I like that. Yeah, he does like I that. I do like that. Yeah. Meet him at Bulldogs, ma. <laughs> Bucks Steam are coming up next with the Pacers. Steam Room Chronicles. 